Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Romine, and today I'm going over the overall state of the stock market, what I'm doing with my stocks, and what stocks I'm looking to buy and when. Now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on, because this is not your normal stock channel. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell. And if you've been with me for a while, hit the like button to help out the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to get two free stocks from Weeble worth up to $1,800, use the link in the description below. Plus, I have a link to my Patreon where you can take your investing to the next level with my daily hot stock list, trade alerts, high growth portfolios to model, and our Discord with thousands of other active investors. All right, we had another rough day in the market and trust me, I'm feeling it just like everyone else. In the last month, Tesla, NEO, and BYDDY are all down 30%. Cannabis stocks like Grow Generation are down 36%. ARK Invest stocks like ARKK and ARKG are down 25%. And even my favorite green energy play, the ETF PBW is now down 32%. Jerome Powell for the Federal Reserve gave us an update the other day, and he really didn't say very much of substance, but the media is pitching the sell-off as if it's a fear of inflation. There are a lot of people trying to predict what the market is going to do, but deep down, you know that nobody has a crystal ball, and we just have to let this play out and see where it goes. But know this, almost everybody in the stock market is losing money, and you are not alone. There has been a big sector rotation out of EV, clean energy, and cannabis stocks, and right now, the recovery stocks like travel and oil are doing very well. And while this rotation might be painful, know that everyone is feeling the pain in their accounts. A lot of people are talking about buying the dips and dollar cost averaging in, and for some people that might be a great approach. However, I've got some real reservations on it. For me, I think we have a much better approach by using technical analysis to help us select a safer time to get into the stocks. And today I'm going to show you three or four different examples of stocks that I wanna buy. Before we have fun with our technical analysis, let's talk about what to do with the stocks we own. If you were in a solid company that you believe in for the long term, then everything should be okay and just ride out the storm and avoid checking your stocks every five minutes. Nothing's going to change. They're down and they're probably going to be down for most of the day. I have a lot of long-term stocks that I believe in and I'm not worried at all. They are going to come back. Now, if you have a lot of speculative plays, that's where I'd be worried and hopefully you cut your losses quickly. If you have not, then you need to make a tough decision and decide if you are most likely better off to cut and realize your losses now or hang on and hope for the best. Speculative plays are dangerous and everyone saw how fast Workhorse dropped over 50% of their value when they did not get that USPS contract. And finally, there are still great deals in the markets and every day I publish a list in my Patreon of winners. For example, ExxonMobil is up 29% in the last month. Month. GE, another solid company, is up 21% in the last month, and SM Energy is up an impressive 88% in the last month and over 600% in the last six months. The good news is if you have your cash ready, you are in a position to come in and buy stocks at a huge discount. My bullish position has not changed on EV, clean energy, or cannabis. EV and clean energy have major government pushes behind them. For electric vehicles, there is a major worldwide move to go electric, and in the USA, it is estimated that by late 2025, 40% of the vehicles will be EV and 90% by 2050. We're just at the beginning of this movement and GM is the first major US automaker to pledge all electric cars by 2035. That's right, they're phasing out all of their fossil fuel vehicles by 2035. The EV market excites me because we are just now getting to the point where EVs are becoming price competitive with fossil fuel vehicles and their maintenance costs are much, much lower. And as technology advances, battery capabilities and the driving ranges increase for EVs, making them even more appealing. EVs are going to come back strong, so get ready. And I still believe cannabis will be one of the biggest winners in 2021. As more states legalize cannabis, sales will increase. If cannabis is legalized nationally, then the sector will explode and this is just for the retail side of MJ stocks. Cannabis for medical uses is still developing and has very few patented uses and new patents will provide huge profits for those companies. I know some of you are scared and there is some panic selling going on and a lot of people are getting to the point where they don't even want to look at the stock market anymore. The good news is the end of a correction is often when people are sick of the stock market and just want to walk away and we might be approaching that point now. And if we are, then this is what will lead to a huge buying opportunity and you want to be ready Ready for it. The great news is technical analysis can show us when to get back into the markets and individual stocks. So let's take a look at a few stocks that I want to load up on and I'll show you how easy it is to know what to do right now. And one more thing, there are a lot of YouTubers out there telling you to blindly dollar cost average in and just buy stocks. What I'm about to show you might change your opinion of those YouTubers. Some people buy blind. I want you to buy smart. 
I'm looking at Tesla live in the markets. And the first thing I want to point out is I've got a custom label bar across the top that's really insightful for me. It tells me that the stock is down 12.17% on the week, over 30% on the month. Over three months, it's up 4%. So very useful information to give me a quick indication of how the stock is doing. The next thing we want to look at is the setup. This blue line is the 20-day moving average, red is the 50, and the white is the 200. And then I've got a PMC indicator that I like and a MACD indicator at the bottom. Now, for those people that are telling you to buy the dip blindly, I'm going to warn you that that's like trying to catch a falling knife. If I told you that right here, should you buy it? Well, it kept on going lower and lower and lower and still today, even lower still. So you just don't know when it's going to end, but there is an easy way and a simple way to use the MACD indicator that's going to give you a good indication. So with our MACD down here, I've changed the colors just a little bit. And anytime the MACD is in red, that's your warning not to buy the stock and you want to wait for it to go back green. And with my MACD indicator, the way I've got it set up, a green arrow shows a MACD crossover and a red arrow shows a MACD crossover to the downside. So we're looking for this green arrow, which is a MACD crossover of the blue line going over the yellow line right here. Now, the other thing is I've color coded a little bit more for you where we've got two shades of red. The dark red is absolutely positively stay out, don't buy the stock. The lighter shade of red or closer to a pink means that things are getting better. So right now we can play red light, green light and red light tells us to stay out of the stock. So if we look up here, red light, stay out. It wasn't doing anything. It was going sideways. We got a green light, red light, and then we had a better green light right here. It went up nicely. And then you can see what happened over here. We had a red light all the way back here that told us to stay out through this time frame right now. Would have been great to stay out. The PMC indicator is very similar where we can play uh, the red light game. And we also have the zero indicator. And anytime you are below the zero indicator, you don't want to initiate a position. Now let's change to the top up here. This is a six month chart. So let's change it to one year, one day. And now let's look at Tesla. So right now we can see we've got a really big dip and look how low this MACD is compared to the last year. It has not been this low in over a year. So the good news is when this turns around, it's going to be a big opportunity. But again, we want to wait for this green light and we're a long ways from it. So right now, everything is telling me to wait on Tesla. And this is a stock that I want. Our next stock is NEO, and guys, I need your feedback in the comments below. Am I going too slow, too fast? I try to go slow enough so that everybody can understand, but sometimes when I do this all the time, it's easy for me to go too fast. So drop a comment down below and give me your thoughts there. All right, we're looking at NEO right now, and if we use the same thing, we can do red light, green light, and we can see that the red light is definitely on for NEO from this point back. It was telling us not to get in. So if you're looking at a dollar cost average in, I would ask you, why do you want to buy now when you look at this information and you're getting a clear indication that it's very dangerous to be in the stock right now. Right now, absolutely a falling knife. Plus, we've got another negative on NEO, which is a stock that I like, and I do expect this stock to hit $80 this year. That's my price target for it, even though right now it's at $36. Up here at the top, we had a moving average crossover where our 20-day cross below our 50. This is a very bad sign, and you want to wait for that to come back up onto the other side. So we're waiting for several things. A moving average crossover, as well as a PMC to go over the zero line. And we want to see this red turn to green. Now let's take a look at a little longer time frame and go from six months to one year again. And what do we see here? Well, NEO is down here at the 200 day moving average. Ouch, that hurts. And it has not been this low on a MACD in well over a year. We also haven't had a moving average crossover in a year. So I am definitely like this stock. But again, I wait for the water to be safer and calmer. So I'm waiting for this thing to definitely come back up. And I want to see everything change uh, that we just went over right here. Our next stock is Grow Generation, and we're looking at the railroad tracks right here. They are closing out. They're about to cross over. Falling knife right here. You don't want to buy at this time frame. And take a look at the PMC indicator. We're on six months right now. We don't want to buy when the price is below the zero line. So back here, it was below the zero line. It told us not to buy, and we can get in anytime it closes back over that zero line, and we can see that it did very well after that point. Same thing here. We would have been wise to wait for this red to end. Could have gotten in at this point right here, went a little bit red again or again right here and it would have been a beautiful time frame and right now the red is telling us stay out of this and we're nowhere near a MACD crossover or getting near the green so hold off and wait why take a chance on catching that falling knife 
And another stock I love is PBW, the Clean Energy ETF. We can see in the last month, they are down roughly 29%. We've got a falling knife going on. Moving average crossover just happened or is about to happen right here. Our PMC indicator, we're below the zero line, which tells us not to buy. And if we're playing red light, green light on MACD, we're in a long red zone right here. And deep red means it's getting worse. So you definitely want to hold off on this one as well. All right, now that I've shown you a couple of stocks that I like that are telling us not to get into them, let's see if we can find some winning stocks. And it's just so I can show you the difference of what it looks like on the PMC and the MACD and up here as well. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna look at my winner's watch list. And this is one of the watch lists that I post in Patreon. And you can see we've got a lot of winners. This column right here is how much these stocks are up over the last three months. So we've got SM is up 319%, not too bad. Let's take a look at FANG and see how they're doing. So with the FANG Stock. We've got a nice upward trend. Everything is looking good. Even though the markets have been down, these guys have been very strong. And let's check out the PMC. Everything looks good. It's in the bright blue, which is really good. And if we come down here on the MACD, it's been bouncing up and down a little bit, but right now it is on the up and doing well. Hopefully we can find a better stock. Uh, let's take a look at uh, Discovery. This one should be better. So with Discovery, we've got a real nice upward channel. And wow, this is actually a beautiful looking chart. Look at these tight ranges. It's not a very very volatile stock and it's been going up, up and away. So a very strong upward trend, nice looking railroad tracks right here. They recently announced a dividend. They've got a low PE ratio. This is discovery.com. Put them on your watch list. Look for a good opportunity to get into them. And now let's take a look at the PMC indicator. Everything is looking really good right here. Um, it's been above the zero line for some time all the way back to here. And right here when it was below the zero line, it was going sideways for a while. It went up and it hasn't looked back. It just had a one day that it was actually below and it's been up since then. And if we look at the MACD, well, we've got our red light, green light. Red light was telling us to stay out. Green light told us to get in right here and boom, off to the races and still going strong. And since energy stocks are hot, let me give you one more to look at. And this is PDCE, which is PDC Energy. Over the last month, they're up 62%. Over three months, 130%. And over six months, 165%. Here we've got it. Check everything out down here. Red light, green light. So we were red in this zone right here. It went green and that was a great time to get in going up. So this is what winning stocks look like. And it's really easy to tell whenever you look at the MACD with the red, or if you look at the PMC and you're below that zero line. Hopefully that helps. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more stuff like this. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. And if you can click on that like, subscribe, and notification bell, that really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to check out my Patreon where I provide even more education, trading alerts, my daily hot stocks, and high growth portfolios that you can model. All right. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope to see you on the next video.